What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today I will show you our own train fast travel system that we have made in LEGO Fortnite in the survival mode, not in the sandbox. Some of you would have seen our monorail system, it's not really a monorail, there's two rails. The monorail system would actually be a lot better, a lot cheaper in materials, but we like to go sort of a bit deep on this thing. So what I suggest you do is you find a location that is very, very high up. The desert is a really good place for this because you've got some meters that are well up into the sky. The higher you are, the further you can travel. There are a couple of issues with this. You don't a single building can't stretch between three biomes. So we start off in the desert, we go through to the grasslands, we couldn't build any further into the Iceland. So just be aware of that before you build. So pick somewhere as high as you can, and then pretty much you need to gather tons of stone. I think for this we used about 800, um, 1,000 stone roughly, which is, you know, it sounds like a fair bit, but it's not too much once you sort of got a couple of people gathering for it. Um, once you've got all the stone, all you have to do then is build the actual platform itself. Now, for building this, all you have to do is just use the granite blocks, basically. You're just using the long ones that are one per, the granite foundations, and you grow across. Now, I said in hindsight, it's probably easier just to use a single one of these and do what we've done with the same format, the same processes. We just built two because we wanted to make a train for no other reason other than we wanted to make a train. So there's probably more efficient ways of doing this for sure. Um, but this works pretty good. As I said, all you've got to do is head out and build in a straight line to wherever you want to go. It can't go across three biomes. Remember that. This is just us building. This probably took about an hour, um, not including some R&D and stuff like that and some mistakes and whatnot. So a long period of time, but we wanted to get from our desert base up to our ice base a lot quicker than just running. Um, and running, this is like a six or seven minute run on the vehicle. It's like a minute. So it is, it is quite a time saver. And if you're going to be playing this for a long period, it's worth it. So building the actual platform, all you've got to do is make sure that the, the foundations are spaced like this. So you want to make sure that the dynamic foundation itself is just tipping over the edge on either side because you need to have space for the wheels below. So when you're setting up your granite foundations, make sure they're the right space so they're just a little bit shallower than the width of the platform. As you can see here, then you put all four wheels on the corner. That gives it stability so it won't fall off the platform. And then all you need at the top is your switch, two blocks, and your rocket. Now the reason for the two blocks is there's no way of turning this around without it being an absolute massive pain in the ass. Every system we try to use to turn it around just to cause stuff to explode, cause stuff to go wrong. So all we did at Eva Run was build a little station with a box there with enough stuff to build a few large thrusters. When you get to the other side, destroy the large thruster on this side and just put it on the other block and you can go backwards and forwards as much as you like. So guys, I know it's not ideal, it's not practical, it takes a lot of time and effort, but we really enjoy doing this. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Let me know if you're going to give this a shot. If you've got any better ideas, we are by no means engineers. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care now.